Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today we're gonna to be cutting relief cuts. So what is a relief cut? A relief cut is a cut about an inch or so deep in the concrete at regular intervals. And what it's supposed to do is control where that concrete is going to crack or break, because it's inevitable. This is such a hard surface over a large area with the freeze and thaw of the ground around it. It's going to push it up and heave it and it's going to crack. We just want to control where that crack happens. What we're trying to alleviate is spider cracking. Um, you got a main crack and then it just spiders and heads out from there. What, and that's something that we don't want. So what we are going to do is we're going to run a relief cut down the long ways of this right in the middle and then do two more cuts um, across the short way and even sections. That's going to give us six equal pads um, where we're going to have our relief cuts. All right, guys. So what we have to cut our slab up, um, we have a concrete saw here. This is the preferred method. However, I don't have a cart uh, to set this so we can set our depth and just stand behind it and walk and push. Um, I don't want to do this by hand because I don't want uh, it sinking in and just making a variable cut with depth because um, we really have no way to control it. So instead of this, what we are going to use is a, just a regular old circular saw with a carbide blade on it. And basically what this is going to do is this just with a lot less power to it. It's going to take a little bit more time, um, but we're still going to be able to get uh, just our depth of cut and we're going to get our uh, relief cut um, in there. Uh, I use this. This is just a junk uh, circular saw that I bought at a yard sale with a, a decent uh, blade on it and it'll cut through this stuff no problem. We're just going to have to push it along a little bit. It is a lot more difficult than this but it still gets the job done. All right so the first thing that we did is we ran a string line to make sure that we had straight lines and measured everything out. And you can see here, we're just pushing the saw along. Um, it actually is pretty hard um, to push the saw through. Um, it does take quite a while. This is sped up to about 2000%. Um, but in this next clip here, you'll be able to see how fast we are actually pushing the saw along. So it is a slow go, but it does work. Um, you can see the line here. It's pretty straight. Um, it's not perfect, but our depth was consistent. So that was the biggest um, thing that we wanted to do. And we just kind of blew it off with a uh, leaf blower and that worked out really well to be prepared for caulk. All right, guys. So now that we finished up saw cutting, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and caulk our relief cuts. We don't want any water getting down in there. Um, that's a good way uh, for water to get under the slab. Remember we have that vapor barrier. So once water gets under there, it's gonna be trapped there for quite some time. So we don't want anything getting down in there. We also are gonna have this exposed for a while to the elements. So we definitely don't want, um, we're getting into some freezing temperatures. We don't want water getting down into our relief cuts and just blowing the top section of our slab apart. So we're gonna caulk this and uh, just let it sit for over the, for a couple months till we get into some better weather uh, early spring where we can start at it again. All right, guys, this finishes up our relief cuts. Um, one thing to note with how far your spacing needs to be, uh, your spacing should be two to three times the depth of your concrete pad. So we have a four inch concrete pad right here. So four times two is eight. Uh, that's your minimum that you would go eight feet or four times three is 12, 12 feet. So we did it right in between there. We did it right around 10 feet. Um, that's how far apart our uh, cuts are. So that makes a 10 foot square block um, or little individual pad that it can, uh, this breaking can break right here. Uh, so that's the rule of thumb is your two to three times, whatever the depth of your concrete is, and that's what it is in feet. 
So that's what we used uh, to calculate how much we need to cut here um, on our slab. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I wish we would have had a cart for this thing. It was pretty hard pushing this saw through. It did get it done. Um, it's got a little bit life left in it, but we did we did probably about 70 linear feet of cuts with this thing. So with a handsaw, that's really good. It definitely would have been a lot better with this, but we made do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to the Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.